Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make these double-sided paper magnolia leaves. The supplies you're going to need for this are 50 pound metallic cardstock, I've provided a link below of the kind that I've used, a Cricut to cut with or scissors, tacky craft glue, a paintbrush, 18 gauge wire, corsage tape, wire clippers, my magnolia leaf templates and magnolia petal templates, which are also linked below. And you can use my Paper Blooms shaping mat and tool set, and that is optional, but it can add a really nice touch to the, um, the leaves when you're trying to add some veins. So gather your supplies and let's get started. All right, I have my 18 gauge wire here, just a few pieces of it. I'm also using this tacky craft glue, which you can find at any craft store or online. And I've cut several um, templates here. I've cut several magnolia leaves out and you're gonna of course want to um, cut out however many you prefer. There's no there's no right amount here. Um, I would say at least five uh, for one branch and then you're going to want to cut them twice so that you have one set in green and one set in like a copper or a brown so that we can do them double sided. So once you get them cut out, just match them up so that they um, are all ready to go as you're working with your glue and everything here. You're not trying to figure out which goes with which um, when you're handling the glue. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to trim down um, my wire a little bit. That may not pertain to you if you have wire that's shorter than mine, but if you need to trim your wire down, um, go ahead and do that first. I'm gonna open up my glue next and I'm just gonna be using a paintbrush here and I'm basically gonna be adding a little bit of glue to the paintbrush each time. And I'm gonna be spreading a very thin layer of glue on one side of my leaf. This glue will dry clear for the most part, so don't feel like you have to be 100% perfect with this. If you get a little bit, you know, around the edges or on another part of the leaf, that's okay. Um, you can kind of, you won't really see it once it's dry and you can also have like a wipe handy or something and you can also wipe it before it dries on the paper and that will help it as well. But uh, most importantly with the glue, just make sure that it's a very thin layer uh, because if you do something that is overly thick, and is oozing out the sides, then it's just, it's not gonna, the leaf will not turn out right. It'll kind of look um, like it has bubbles underneath the surface of it or something. Um, next here, I'm dipping my wire into the glue bottle so that it's going to be, uh, probably about half the wire will be covered in glue, maybe a third of the wire or so. And then I'm slowly um, removing it from the bottle to get some of that excess glue off. I'm just kind of like twirling it to get that excess glue to come off so that it's a nice thin bead of glue. And then to get that bead of glue to be even thinner, I just take my paintbrush and kind of swipe it so that it's nice and thin. Everything you need to do here is a very, very light layer of glue so that the leaf looks um, very clean once we're done with it. Once I place my wire in the center of one side of my leaf, then I'll just place the other color on top and press it firmly down. When you're pressing it, think about pressing where the wire is because that's where the most glue is and it's gonna make it look like that's where the vein ridge is in the leaf. So pay attention to that area the most. And then carefully lift it up once you've um, got it pressed on there. And if you got any glue on the back side, um, you can probably either wipe it with your finger, like I said, it will dry mostly clear, or you can take a little baby wipe to it or something and then it'll come off really easily. Um, just continue to sort of like work with that center of the wire there, pressing that wire into the leaf really well. And that's how you would do one. And now you're just going to repeat that with all the different leaves that you've cut out and the different sizes, because then we're gonna be able to build sort of a branch effect once we have several leaves to work with here. Before I um, build the rest of mine, I also wanna show you an optional um, technique here. This is my Paper Blooms shaping mat and tool set. And you can add some additional vein ridges to the leaf by just drawing with this rolling tool on the flexible mat so that it creates that uh, veined effect to the top of the leaf. This is completely optional, of course, and um, if you are interested in this product, you can find it linked below this video as well. And that just creates a really pretty effect to the final leaf. So I'm just gonna work on gluing the rest of these leaves together here, back to back, and then I will um, 
jump forward in just a second and show you how I assemble the entire branch. I'm going to speed this video up just a little bit so that I don't bore you to death with um, all the, the painting of the leaves and getting them assembled here. Okay, so I've got a bunch of my leaves ready to go now. They've all dried and I've added some veins and ridges to all of them with my um, tool set that I showed you earlier. And now I'm just gonna think about how I wanna assemble them. Um, I just am going to start with you know a couple at a time and grab some corsage tape and kind of stagger them a little bit. You don't want them to be exactly you know, the same height. You want them to stagger a little bit. And then just begin wrapping that corsage tape around so that it holds them together. You're just gonna keep repeating this until you've added all of your leaves and then just think about adding them at different heights and different angles around that um, longest center wire that we have here. And that's gonna create a really pretty branch effect. You can of course bend them because the wire is very flexible. Um, you can bend them out and kind of shape them more as you're building this branch as well. So just kind of get a feel for how you want to place them and at what you know angle and which ones you want to come next try to vary with a magnolia um, in nature magnolia leaves in nature they're they're all kind of various sizes you'll see smaller ones you'll see larger ones and they don't typically grow in a normal fashion where the smaller ones might be at the top and the larger ones might be at the bottom of the branch they actually kind of grow um, randomly so I like to randomize my smaller and larger leaves just kind of all over the branch Every time that you add a new um, leaf, 
you need to make sure you're adding corsage tape as you go. It's best to just build one at a time to make sure that everything stays exactly where you want it to. So when you add a leaf, then go ahead and add some corsage tape and wrap it and then add another one and keep going. Um, don't try and just place them all and just wrap once because then it won't turn out right. Um, so just make sure you're adding just one at a time there. I'm just finalizing my last leaf here on this magnolia branch and like I said you can of course add more you can make this really big you can make several of these that I actually have here in the video and then kind of connect all those together as well if you really wanted to make really elaborate branches you could do that as well um, once you add your last leaf on trim any extra wire off so that it's even at the bottom and it can also be a good idea to add like just one final layer of corsage tape around the entire bottom part of the um, stem there and then the fun part is just shaping your leaves you know bend some of them forward some of them backwards give them a little bit of a twist in the center and just work with that wire and the flexibility of the leaves to show off different angles and make it look a lot more 3d and realistic this is obviously a very simple and beginner friendly project that you can use a cutting machine for or scissors and it looks really pretty with some paper magnolia flowers which you can also find linked below this video as well if you would like to um, learn how to make magnolias I have a few different styles and you can see a close-up here of how these look they look really pretty they have sort of that velvety shiny look to them and they look pretty realistic and they have a nice elegant touch and um, you can just add a bunch to a vase or even make a wreath or something fun like that out of it I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you guys next time. Find freebies and tutorials on abbykirstencollections.com or shop this template on catchingcolorflies.com.